In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove something from a photo using Photoshop. And I'm using Photoshop CC, but it should be quite similar for the last few versions that uh, you may be using. So in this photo, it's a fun photo of, uh, of Ruby here, uh, but these cracks are a little bit distracting from her funny face. Uh, you know, we could crop it or, or whatever, or we could just remove them. So I'm going to show you two different ways to uh, to get rid of these cracks here. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the layer. So you can either right click and choose duplicate layer or you can control or command and J to uh, just do a quick duplicate. So uh, the first method I'm going to show you is using the, the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to click on this little stamp here, which is the clone stamp. And um, some options pop up here. And I'm just going to leave it at the default right now. Um, you know, you can change them around later, uh, you know, when you when you learn more about it or uh, if, if your needs change. But um, for now, I'm just going to leave it. So we want to get rid of this crack and this crack and probably this crack. So the first thing I'm going to do is you need to find a place uh, that matches the area you want to cover. You have to tell it what you want it to look like. So for this crack, I'm just going to I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller with the bracket tools. They're uh, right next to your the the P on your keyboard. Uh, the left one makes them smaller. The right one makes it bigger. So I'm just going to drop it down a little bit hold it right there and then hold down the alt key and see it changes it to kind of a bullseye because that's the pattern it's going to pick up and then just click with your mouse pick up the pattern let go of the alt key and then as you hover over the crack here you'll see that it has that background uh, that selected image right there and so what it's going to do is as you click as you, you can see on the, the left hand side of, of uh, the paintbrush there, it's showing where it's pulling from. And this is getting a little sticky because it's picking up this crack here, which isn't helpful. So we're just going to go right over here, hold down the Alt key, and uh, just go over patterns a little bit. They're gone. There you go. And it actually turned out really easily here. I'm going to uh, hide this layer real quick and see there's a crack and there it is without. And you really wouldn't be able to tell if it was there. Uh, you know, maybe if you zoom in you could, but um, even still it's, so you can see it's been edited here a bit, uh, but that's only when you zoom in a ton. Otherwise, it's just going to remove one more distraction from this uh, from this image. This one's going to be a little more difficult because it has the shadow going in here. But I'm going to make the brush a little bit larger. I'm going to uh, hold down Alt and click. I'm just going to start right here and start kind of pasting over. So here's where it gets a little tricky uh, because that there's a shadow there. So I'm just going to go right here where the shadow starts, hold down Alt, click, and then start my, my painting there. Uh, so there's a little lump there but, uh, that can be cleared out pretty easily. So there. Um, and then this one is going to be a bit trickier because you've got to pause here. So I'm just going to shrink it down a tiny bit when I zoom in. You have to be careful zooming in too far because sometimes you can lose sight of the, the big picture here. Um, and you want to make sure that you've got uh, a realistic view of what you're doing. So just hold down Alt and then kind of paint over. I'm going to paint one more time. So it looks like I picked up a little bit of the shadow, so I'm just going to click there uh, and then go back over. 
and then zoom out and there you go so that's using the clone stamp so there's the original and there it is with them removed it looks a little fake though uh, so that's why I'm showing you this other method so we're going to click on this layer here always duplicate your original layer in case you make a big mistake so you don't mess up the original image um, we're going to use the spot healing brush tool which I really like it's, it just makes things so easy um, this one you don't have to pick up a sample from so I'm just going to I'm just going to just brush right over this crack here and as you can see it cleans it up very nicely the only thing is this little shadow here um, and it can get a little finicky it's, it may be a little difficult to get an exact match we'll kind of zoom in a little bit so we'll just again drag it over this crack and release as you can see it removes the crack there this one might be a little more difficult Let's see it kind of wants to pick that up so you can even just kind of touch and just shrink down your brush size and this may be a place to incorporate the clone stamp tool but as you can see it does a great job getting rid of those cracks there again it's not perfect um, you've got the little dent there and so you might want to use a clone stamp and just fix that Uh, and the same here. So it looks a little better. But there's two ways that you can remove uh, problem blemishes or whatever from from an image. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website at sallyu.com. And have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.